Texas unveiled its new offense Saturday night against New Mexico State, but the Longhorns had a slow start with just 29 plays and two touchdowns in nine minutes of possession at halftime. But the third quarter was a different story. Texas came out with 22 plays for 246 yards and three touchdowns at the end of the third. And from that point forward, the Longhorns never looked back. Wide receiver DeJay Johnson had a standout game with a 66-yard rushing touchdown and a 67-yard receiving touchdown. And quarterback David Ash had a slow start throwing two interceptions in the first half, but ended the game with 434 yards of total offense, including a 55-yard rushing touchdown and four passing touchdowns to lead Texas to a 56-7 win over New Mexico State. We were getting yards and then we just weren't capitalizing because of either turnovers or penalties and uh, something we just got to cut out. Um, I don't know if we do that, you know, that's going to help our game. The game is a big game to keep away. And uh, you got to keep the ball in your hands. If you give it to the opponent, it's, um, it's going to limit your scoring opportunities. We were just our own worst enemies. You know, we, we complete a third down pass, but we fumble it. Okay, and then we get in a situation where we get down in the red zone. We make a check. They make a check. We see it. They trick us. We probably could have taken care of the ball better, but now we've talked about that. You know, and how we can do it. Then the third turnover we have, I mean, he's getting ready to hit DeJay right in the mouth with the ball. It's going to be a touchdown. He gets batted at the line of scrimmage. So that's, that's part of football. You know, that's part of football. Forget about it. Move on to the next play. And that is the thing that I'll talk to him about tomorrow. We're not happy with the way we played the first half, but that's a sign of a mature team. Uh, not to say that it doesn't matter, but to just compartmentalize it, put it in its own place, and move on. There's another play. There's another series. We knew we were just on the edge of, of getting points. So I was proud to see them do that. I don't think they would have done that a year or two ago. We've been in that situation, I don't know how many times, and we failed before, you know, and um, we've understood it, we've been through it, we know how to, how to cope. It helps when Coach Applewhite's down there. So much of football is more about um, morale and, and believing, and I think, um, co you know, Coach Applewhite's been in a lot of those situations, so it helps whenever he's seen that and, and knows what to say, know what to, know what to expect, and, you know, know what to do to get guys going. If we really execute 60 minutes, we can be good. You know, it's okay to say that. You know, it's out there. Let's go get it. I felt like um, you, saw, you saw glimpses of what we can be. And uh, we just got to keep working on it, get better, and um, be more consistent with that. He's an explosive player. I mean, I think we've all talked about it for, for a month now during the summer, and he's done a great job when we've given him the ball and given him opportunities. And um, it's one of those deals, the better you do, the more we're going to continue to invest in you. And, um, you know, this is just the first round of a 12 round bout, so it's time to move on to the next one. Jay is blazing speed. I mean, I, I'm sure y'all noticed that. And, uh, it's just something that this this game is, is a really great first start for him, and um, he just kind of showed everybody what he can do on the field, and we're gonna we're gonna love him, love him this year. Yeah, I knew during the game they was gonna give me the ball, so I just wanted to get, give it all my give it my all whenever uh, they gave it to me. Just try to score every time. He's got a unique skill set because he's got so much lower body strength. I mean, you see him run between the tackles and break tackles. Um, you know, he's got phenomenal hands. He caught it on the seam. He's got return game skills. Uh, he's got open field skills. He's, he's just a very, very talented person. Um, and, you know, he'll just continue to stay humble. He's very bright, you know, very bright. And he, he understands where he's at right now as a player and where he needs to continue to work to be the best. And, and I think that's he's very prideful. When he steps on the field, he believes he's the very best player on that field. So I'm just looking forward to seeing him continue to develop. I think what we did today is we eliminated the big play. Um, when you look at the yards, you have to look at the number of snaps um, and yards per play, 104 rushing yards, but out of 38 attempts, uh, running backs all averaged about two yards a carry. So uh, we were put in a lot of adverse situations early on. I was proud of the way that our guys responded to, I think, four sudden changes in the first half. It's hard to script that. I think we had something like 10 three and outs. So um, it was a typical first game. There were some stay loose and adjust. They did some things that, that were hard to predict why they would do it and how they did it. Personnel was a mystery. Um, we got a lot of different personnel that, that we didn't expect, hadn't prepared for, either through our preparation for what we expected on tape or what we'd seen from our offense. And, uh, and these, guys, these guys did a, a good job uh, battling through that unknown, making the proper adjustments, and really playing well in the second half.